What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. Also, hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Be careful down in the comment section of the videos, guys. A lot of spam, a lot of scammers. I will never ask you to contact me by WhatsApp or Telegram. I also do not invest money for my subscribers. So please be careful. Don't get yourself scammed. If you want six free stocks, Weeble is going to give you six free stocks. When you open up a new Weeble brokerage account, put at least one penny in that account. They're going to give you six free stocks value all the way up to $12,600. So after the video, I want you guys to go down to the description box of the video. Click on that Weeble link, open up your new account today, go get that free stock, go get that free money. I've been watching the stock market all week and there's been quite a bounce. All three major indexes are up for the week. This bounce, in my opinion, won't last. If you've been following what's been going on in our economy, earlier in the month, the CPI numbers came out for June and inflation was 9.1%. So a lot of people thought, wow, that's disastrous. The stock market is going to fall and fall hard. Uh-uh-uh, didn't happen. And a lot of people felt like it didn't happen is because the market had already priced in a higher CPI number or a higher inflation number. So it didn't really impact the stock market that much. But I also want you to think about this. The Federal Reserve was gonna be meeting on July 26th and July 27th. And at that meeting, like I've been telling you guys, you're gonna see an increase in short-term interest rates, probably by 100 basis points or 125 basis points. Some of you might be saying, well, why isn't the economy cooling itself off after the Fed has already raised rates? Why is it still robust? Why are people still spending? Because that's what's happening really, guys. People are just continuing to spend money. I looked at uh, an article about the airlines and the airlines are having record profits. People are traveling like crazy. Problem is the airlines can't handle the demand. They just can't handle the demand. So you got flight delays and all kinds of stuff happening. But the point I'm trying to make is people are still spending money like crazy. And that's one of the reasons why the stock market is still doing well. People are still spending money, right? And investors know that. So if you look at your airline stocks, um, you, know, you look at your uh, cruise line stocks, if you look at any of these stocks that people are spending money for leisure and pleasure, they're all pretty much doing well. The only thing I can tell you to be on the lookout for next week is when the Fed meets. Now, I could be totally wrong. The Fed may raise interest rates by 50 basis points. They may raise interest rates by 100 basis points, and it may not do anything to the stock market. The stock market may continue to bounce, but I just don't believe that, guys. I just believe we are in the beginning stages of a recession. I think we're going to be in this recession for two to three years, and I'm going to tell you what I believe the trigger is going to be for everything to cut loose, and that's going to be unemployment. See, right now, the reason people can keep spending like crazy is because unemployment is at 3.6%, which is pre-pandemic levels. Wages are still increasing. See, people got money to spend, so they're going to spend it. 
That's what we do in our country. We spend money, right? We don't save any money or invest a lot of money, but we spend money. So as long as jobs, the job market is strong and people can get a job and make a good wage, they're going to keep spending money. Now, what will stop them from spending money is when the unemployment rate increases, which I think will be happening. Because at some point, if inflation keeps going up and the Federal Reserve keeps increasing interest rates to try to stop it from going up, these companies are going to be in a situation where they're going to have to start laying people off. They're going to have to. Because you got to understand, a lot of companies in the United States borrow money in order to fund their operations. A lot of them borrow money. And when money is too expensive to borrow and these companies just can't afford to pay it back, then at some point, they got to start laying people off. And again, guys, I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, gloom and doom here. I'm just trying to get you to be, you know, conscious of what could be happening and what could be coming. This is all just my opinion. One guy on YouTube, again, guys, just my opinion. But I'm telling you, this bounce in the stock market, in my opinion, won't last. That's not a bad thing because, again, if you're trying to build wealth, the goal is what? If you're going to invest in the stock market, buy low, sell high. So obviously, if you can buy low now, which I believe you can, because even with the bounce in the stock market, most of our favorite companies, our favorite ETFs, and our favorite cryptos are still way below their all-time highs. They're still trading at a discount, even with the slight bounce, right? So, so I think it's still an opportunity to build wealth, right, with where the stock market is today. But I think it's going to fall further down. That's my opinion. And again, that's where you got to be dollar cost averaging in every single week, every single month, buying your favorite companies, buying your favorite ETFs, buying your favorite cryptos so that you can you can take advantage of this great opportunity to build wealth. And that's going to be an opportunity, guys, that's going to stick around for two to three years. A lot of people are saying, oh, we're out of the woods. Look what the stock market's doing, even with inflation at 9.1%. Guys, that's not sustainable. Federal Reserve is going to continue to pound and be hawkish and raise these interest rates until they get inflation down because they know there is no way our economy can stay at a 9.1% inflation rate. It, it can't happen. I was also reading an article, European Central Bank raised their interest rates, right? For the first time, I believe in a decade. And guess what that did to the dollar? Cooled the dollar down, right? See, the reason the dollar is so strong compared to all the other currencies is because the Federal Reserve is increasing our interest rates so rapidly. So that, that, that makes the dollar stronger. Now that the European Central Bank and some of these other countries are going to start raising their interest rates, that's going to bring the dollar down slightly a little bit, right? So I think what's happening here is the market had already priced in higher inflation uh, rate. They priced that in. I think they're also pricing in some type of increase from the Federal Reserve. That's already being priced in as well. But I think they're going to be unpleasantly surprised next week is the Fed is going to probably be really, really hawkish on interest rates. I'm looking at a full 1%, 1.25% hike, guys which I believe will reverse all of the gains that the stock market has made over this last week, week or week and a half. That's just my opinion. Drop me some comments down in the comment box and then let me know what you guys think. Why in the world would the stock market be doing as well as it's doing if we got 9.5% or 9.1% inflation? Why? I mean... Why is it doing so well? I think it's doing well because people just continue to spend money, man. Why? Because everybody got jobs, everybody getting wages, everybody making money. As soon as that stops, as soon as that in, it, it, unemployment goes up, you will see a drastic difference in our economy. I guarantee that. If you want those six free stocks from Webull, guys, click on that link down in the description box. Open up your new Webull account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. 
you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, smash the like button. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. And I'm going to catch you on the next video. But today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.